taken a huge relief for former Kolkata top cop Rajiv Kumar. Remember, he his alleged involvement, not in the Sharda Chit Fund case, but the fact that he hid evidences from the investigating agency, which is the CBI in this case, that had led to CBI taking him under arrest, asking him to be summoned in front of him, asking for his custody as well. But he had not answered any of those summons. He went to the court. And just this afternoon, the Kolkata High Court, the Calcutta High Court, in fact, has granted him anticipatory bail. But there are some riders. He cannot leave Calcutta. Also, the court in its... Uh, findings did say a detailed order is awaited but uh, in its order the court did say that a custodial interrogation of uh, this former cop is not required the court also underlined that Rajiv Kumar must be given 48 hours of notice before uh, he is summoned for interrogation and if the CBI arrests him now he will be given immediate bail with 50,000 of surety. Now, all this, remember, is related to the Sharada Chit Fund case, a case where lakhs of people lost their hard-earned money. And while this matter was being investigated by the CBI, they went to the Kolkata, then Kolkata police chief, to try and gather evidence. And their belief is, the CBI has been alleging, that Rajiv Kumar hit evidence from them, did not give out the full details. And thus, they were now looking into his participation in the scam as well. In fact, when he was arrested or likely to be arrested or summoned by the CBI, Mamta Banerjee, the Chief Minister of West Bengal, went on to say that this was an attack on her and her police officers. She had held a protest, a dharna. She also had given out very angry words against the Central Bureau of Investigation, saying that they were, being, they were puppeting the line of the BJP and attacking officers who worked in her government. In middle of all of that, in middle of CBI, over the past two weeks, sending him several summons, which he did not answer. There was a red corner notice against him as well, which he did not answer. The CBI was looking for him all over. But today, he has finally gotten some relief from the Calcutta High Court. He will be going, he will be answering all the questions of the CBI, but the CBI shall not be allowed to arrest him. So that's the background on this story, really. Those visuals that you see on your screen are the time when he was taken in to a third place where he could be interrogated by the CBI. Uh, and the CBI kept saying that uh, he is a big influence on this case and thus his custody is required. But the court today have clearly specified that that's not the requirement at the moment for them and that... Uh, he shall not be arrested and a 48-hour notice shall be given to him before any summons.